by most of us that imitation is the best form of flattery. And in the case of Meghan Markle, it has never been more true. Meghan Markle tends to imitate, we've seen her imitate Julia Roberts. Uh, yeah, she's pretty much fixated on Catherine, Princess of Wales, and of course, the ultimate, which is Princess Diana. Her dead mother-in-law, the most famous woman in the world to this day. So, why, why? Is Meghan Markle doing that? She thinks that she's as smart because, of course, we all have seen her play the most famous or well-known character, which is Rachel Zane from Suits. Or is it well-known worldwide? Why is this important? Because Prince Harry is now living in a horror movie created by Rachel Meghan Markle. And we're going to see why that is. Because Meghan Markle now is imitating the character Megan Lewis at Melrose Place, but the real life person, which is Kelly Rutherford. And Harry is about to find out how much he needs his family, how much he regrets this marriage. And to his heartbreak, find out that Meghan absolutely set him up and sold him out. So let's watch this movie because we're gonna discuss a doozy right here and you're not gonna wanna miss this. I am required to ask anyone present who knows the reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. Hello, beautiful people. This is Paula M. I want to thank everybody. I am done with my treatments uh, for now. I have to go to the doctor yeah, tomorrow to find out uh, if I'm clean or not. And then next week as well. But it, it's looking pretty good. So I want to thank everybody who, who was so kind and sent me wish, best wishes and stuff. So thank you very much for that. If only Harry had, if only somebody had spoken out. That's what Harry's thinking right now after finding out Meghan's betrayal. Because I've been given some info that is very, very juicy, very sad, and very heartbreaking for Harry. And he finds himself alone, isolated from his family, and nobody wants to help him out, nor believe him. Because what if he's lying and this is all a ploy uh, concocted by him and Meghan Markle? You all remember if you, I mean, you're 50 plus or if you're from the States or maybe worldwide because Melrose, Melrose Place was an incredibly famous um, soap opera in the 1990s. Kelly Rutherford was the, the main character and her character's name, oddly enough, was called Megan Lewis. Talk about, talk about coincidences, isn't it? So this in the mind of Megan, it's even more, more, um, it's true because, you know, her character's name, the character's name of Kelly Rutherford is Megan Lewis and her name is Megan. Well, Rachel, Megan Markle. So in her mind, it all makes sense. It doesn't to me, but it does to her. So why am I talking about that? Because, you know, Megan likes to be the heroine of the, of the, of the movie. She thinks she's out there. She's the best actress. She has a lot in common with this white blonde woman, except that she's not blonde, but she's white. But they're both in that at that level. Kelly Rutherford met Daniel Gersh and married him. He was a French businessman, a German businessman, so, sorry. And they married very quickly, very much like Harry and Meghan. They fell in love. She was at the height of her career, well, whatever it was, which was Melrose Place, which was a soap opera, pretty big back then. Yes, and it got to her head. She was married to this multimillionaire financier, German financier. They had two children. But again, just as quickly as they got married, things got pretty sour. And this is where things fell apart for all of them, especially for Daniel Gersh. It turns out that well, decide, well they decided to get divorced pretty quickly, actually, while she was still pregnant. The only difference between her and Meghan Markle is that, is that Kelly was actually pregnant. While she was still pregnant, she decided to divorce the man. 
Daniel Gish, and he was completely devastated. And it got dirty and it got nasty very quickly. It got nasty very, very quickly. So during this back and forth, because, you know, he was living in the United States. Well, they're on trial for the divorce and separation during this period. Unfortunately, things took a downturn for uh, Kelly Rutherford. I know my, some of you must remember this case or some of you might not know it because she wasn't really that famous. This is what she also has in common with Meghan Markle. She was kind of, uh, you know, she was a girl from Melrose Place, just like Meghan Markle was a girl from Suits um, and Diddy's Parties. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Sorry, guys. So she got written off of Melrose Place. It ended and she didn't have any more means to represent, you know, to pay high, high, high price lawyers. So she hires this firm of lawyers while they're on trial. Keep in mind that he's a foreigner on U.S. soil. Suddenly, a lawyer from her own firm burst during the middle of the trial. It was all very dramatic. And of course, Kelly said, I did not know that they were going to do that. Wink, wink. I did not know they were going to call Homeland Security. Well, back then it was immigration, the State Department, actually, back then. Let's not forget that this is way back then. And the lawyer in the middle of the trial picks up the phone, takes out the phone and, say, and calls State Department. Did you know that Daniel Gersh, there's a huge possibility that his visa is fraudulent because he set up a ghost, a ghost um, business, which is not really working and he had no right to set it up. And therefore, he should be kicked out of the country. Kelly Rutherford said that she didn't know her own lawyers were going to do that. Nobody believes her. Least of all, the judge. Least of all, the judge. So what happened? What happened? It ended up that he was deported. The judge ordered to deport him out of the United States. He got deported, even though he proved that that business was not really set up by him. It was actually Kelly's idea. Um, and um, yeah, he ended up being deported. But Kelly thought she'd won. Of course, after all, she was Megan Lewis from Melrose Place, or she was Kelly, uh, Megan Lewis from <laughs> Melrose Place. It got to her head. She wasn't counting on. There's a law that prevents um, uh, parents to be separated, forceful, forcefully separated from their children through no fault of their own. So because he was denied access while he was abroad, while he was in Paris, he finds out that he can't come in. He can't return because his visa has been denied thanks to Kelly Rutherford. And he has the email from the State Department to prove it, even though she denied it. She denied having anything to do with it. The lawyer to this day denies that he acted against his own firm's advice that no, 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 Kelly did not know anything. Nobody believes it because this woman, yeah. So what happened? Because he was not allowed in the United States, the judge ordered the children to go see their father. And then Kelly, in her desperation, she decided to withhold the children in the United States. And the judge said, uh-uh, no, 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 no. That doesn't happen like that, sweetie. It's not his fault that the, the United States has denied him the entrance visa, you know, to be in the United States. Because once this visa was revoked, he couldn't come in. So he was forced to live in exile from his own children who were, I mean, just to tell you, she was pregnant with their second child. And the other one was like two years of age. And he was living in Monaco. So what did the judge say? The judge said, they're going to go see him. And because she didn't want that, she thought she knew best. She thought of withholding the child. So he decides to enact the International Hague Treaty of Abduction, which accused her of abducting his children. So the judge says, you can't do that. No, not to him, to her. And what they did is insane because there was bad faith on her behalf because the judge, it was pretty much down to the judge and the judge didn't believe what she was buying. So the judge said the kids are going to live with their father. So now this woman 
who was on top of the mountain, who thought he was, she was being sneaky, who thought she was going to, you know, have it all, you know, and be this hero in her own movie, because she also thought that once she got rid of them, everybody, she was going to be able to spin her story. And this is where Harry finds himself right now, from what I'm told. Meghan Markle has a niece, it's Samantha Markle's daughter, who is an immigration lawyer. The Heritage Foundation right now is, is absolutely after Harry. Now Trump won, which is his worst nightmare. Amer Meghan Markle is an American citizen. Harry is not. And not only that, if it's found out that he lied in his application, and if the Heritage Foundation is successful in vacating that, that judge sentence, it is going to be brutal. But it is a heartache because Harry has found out. Apparently, from what I was told, and I always have to say allegedly, guys, because you know how things are here. Now that the Meghan and Harry um, topics are considered sensitive, sensitive for YouTube. Allegedly, he's found out that it was Meghan who's been snitching to Heritage Foundation. That she's the one who's been telling them that he, didn't, he lied in his visa application. And how does she know that? Because Ashley, her niece, helped him fill it out. Because we know that Harry has never, ever, ever filled out anything. And he trusts his beautiful wife. Do you think that Harry is going to, Meghan is going to do better than Kelly Rutherford? I particularly don't think so. Because at the end of the day, Harry is the king's son. We heard um, Eric Trump say that the king, King Charles and Donald Trump know themselves very well. And even though Trump said that he's going to kick him out, it doesn't mean that he's going to withhold him from his children. We do know that the tentacles of the royal family reach far and wide. Can you imagine Harry's heartbreak? Because at this point, they both don't like each other. They really don't like each other. Can you find him? Can you believe that he thought that when he fled the United Kingdom, thinking that he was going to be the super A-list celebrity star because his wife told him so. Now he finds himself unloved, unliked, alone, branded a liar, and married to a nightmare of a woman. And without anybody to turn to. But at least I know that King Charles will never abandon his own kid. Is he really his kid though? Mm. But anyways. So what do you think is going to happen? Because Harry didn't know what was going on. Why did the Heritage Foundation go after his visa? It's specifically that. Can you imagine him finding out that it was his own wife through third parties that hinted to the Heritage Foundation? who sought out the, the uh, foundation that's <laughs> against Harry, pretty much, who would gladly jump at the chance of doing this to him. Do you think, how do you think Harry felt when he found out that it could have been his own wife who did this to him? Why did the Heritage Foundation go after Harry? Why are they so sure that he lied? Even though they're not saying it for legal reasons, but they are very sure that he lied. That could only have come from a camp inside. I am sure thinking that Harry must be thinking right now. I sure believe that Harry must be thinking. Why didn't anybody speak out at the wedding? Why didn't somebody say you cannot marry this woman? Or why didn't I listen to my brother? Instead, I am stuck out of, of the country, away from whatever children he thinks he has. And I just want to preface this, that I believe the children are his I believe the children are his. I do not believe the children are Meghan Markle's. And I have that video for tomorrow because I'm gathering some more info. So what do you guys think? Can you, do you think that Harry's going to end up with the children? Or do you think that Meghan Markle is going to be more successful than Kelly Rutherford in the United States? Especially now that Trump has won. Maybe if the Biden, um, maybe if Kamala had won. But mm, now with Donald Trump, mm, maybe Donald Trump would do Charles a solid and, is, you know, kind of wink, wink at the judge and said, no, you know, send the kids over. Because Kelly Rutherford is absolutely bankrupt. She ended up being represented by a women's organization because she couldn't pay her lawyers anymore. She was bankrupt. 
She used to fly every other weekend to see her children, but then she ran out of money. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think that it was Megan who ratted him out? Or do you think it was Ashley? But if even if it was Ashley, it would still be at the instructions of Meghan Markle. Because there's absolutely no way, absolutely no way, guys, that Ashley would just act on her own. But we know that Meghan is sneaky one. We know Meghan is a sneaky one. And Meghan, let's not forget, thinks she's Rachel saying from Suits. So please leave me your comments, beautiful people. And again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell as well. Thank you very much.